Hey everybody. You're looking at the Trash Am 2 system. The reason why I call this a Trash Am 2 system is because when I threw this together back in the summer of last year, I initially had it set up with very poor specs, including a Sempron CPU. Now it has a uh, Athlon 64 dual core processor 4000 plus. It's got two gigs of memory in it. It's got a uh, <clears throat> I think it's a 240 gigabyte hard drive, something like that. Got one as 11 on this thing right now. And of course, we know this system definitely does not meet the Microsoft Elite Class middle system requirements from Windows 11. So, since this machine does not meet the Microsoft Elite Class middle system requirements from Windows 11, we're going to be putting Linux Mint on it. So, just for fun, we're going to put Linux Mint XFCE on this and see how this runs with that. Of course, very recently I did a video featuring Linux Mint XFCE on a uh, netbook. And of course, a netbook, as we would all expect, ran pretty slow with it. So I want to give this Linux distribution another chance on something that's definitely more capable. So we're going to go ahead and restart this machine and begin installation. I was going to do it on the quote-unquote Internet X4 PC. But the motherboard in that this in that system is a piece of crap. <laughs> it uh does not apparently doesn't support USB booting. So I decided to skip that machine for now. So instead we install it on this one. That being said, let's go ahead and begin with installation. Alright, so we're going to start Linux Mint. And let this load up. Okay, we are now <clears throat> at the desktop. It's still loading a few things. Of course, text will all load up off the flash drive. Alright, so we'll go ahead and install Linux Mint. So this process should be very similar to how it was done on the netbook, so I'm not going to really cover it in quite as much detail in this video. Okay, so installation has completed. We'll go ahead and restart the system.
Okay, so we're in now. Startup does take a little while. And of course we have our startup message. I'll go ahead and turn that off. Not really sure what's going on with the uh, network connection here, but uh, try to disconnect, reconnect it. So that could be something going on with the driver or something with this uh, Ethernet connection. Yeah, not real sure why it's having a hard time picking up a uh, connection. But we'll take a quick look around. You see how it keeps flashing up disconnected on the network. It's just really, really odd. So, of course, let's see here. And, of course, I recently did a video of Linux Mint on different, well, of course, on the uh, netbook. I guess that's the thing is the driver manager needs access to the Internet in order to look for driver updates, but, of course, don't have Internet access, so... There you have it. Yes, yeah, so I'm not going to really spend too much time on this one because I'm going to move on to other projects. But, um, yeah, it's really, it's really bizarre. I'm not sure what's going on with the, with the uh, network. I mean, obviously my network works fine. You see how it keeps dropping out and reconnecting. Showing disconnected. And it says requesting an net Ethernet network address for wire connection one. So it keeps loop it keeps looping through that. But um Yeah, I was gonna go online, do a few things online, but oh well. Here's a look at task manager. Can definitely say this this runs faster than the uh, netbook, but it's not going to be a very in-depth uh, tour of it on this machine. Because the next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be installing Lubuntu on the netbook just to try it out, see how it runs. But I'm not going to wipe this one just yet. Of course, y'all probably know I'm kind of new to Linux. I haven't really messed with Linux all that much. So, feel free to pop a comment down below to me what you think is going on here with this Ethernet. So, this motherboard that's in this machine has a uh, NVIDIA GeForce 6100 graphics chipset with I think the Enforce 430 or something like that. Southbridge. Not as certain. The Network on this thing, I believe, is a Realtek fast Ethernet. It's onboard network, which is probably sort of similar to what's in that netbook. And of course, I had any issue. I didn't have any issues with the uh, network connection on the netbook, and I was using the Ethernet connection on that. I could have used the Wi-Fi if I wanted to, but yeah. It's just, yeah, not real sure what's going on here. So when I, when we look at the uh, the Ethernet indicators, you can see, I mean they're obviously working, but the OS is not picking up a connection. I'm thinking that's probably a driver issue. Not 100 percent certain on that, but uh. You can see we're sitting idle at 36% memory usage. And of course, 
a little bit of memory is being taken up by the integrated graphics. So I guess for now the tour of Linux Mint XFCE on the Trash AM2 system is going to probably be short lived. But um, yeah, I'll have to look at this one at a later time, figure out what's going on with it. So, anyways, I'm going to shut everything down on this one. Watch it shut down. Oh, and it looks like it's not going to shut down either. It's just sitting there. Um, yeah, it's just sitting there hung up, not doing much anything. The monitor is out, from what I can see. Yeah, so definitely seems there's some, there's some compatibility issues with this one. So anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Well everybody, that wraps up for this video and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like the video, leave a comment, subscribe to QQ channel, and be sure to tick the bell that way you get notified of new video posts. Also I recommend following QQ Company on Facebook. A link is in the video description. In addition to computer tech videos, I have a second channel, CubeCompMTDX. Links are available at the end of this video. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching and your support.